Hello and welcome back to Simple Korean. <laughs> right now it's freezing here in Vancouver and uh, we had some snowfall as you can see in these videos here. And uh, yeah, and what have I been up to these days? Well, that's a great question because uh, I'm gonna let you know what I've been doing these couple of months uh, at the end of this video. But for now, let's learn some simple Korean, okay, shall we? Today, I'm going to teach you uh, how to say what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, okay, so, actually, this is not really how to say what the fuck. It's, it's more like just expressing your pain, your struggles, uh, just to let the world know that you're suffering. Yeah? What do Korean people say when that happens? So pretend that, for example, that you are, you dropped your chocolate bar onto the floor and you gotta bend over and pick it up. And most people are gonna say, uh, 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 right? They, they make that sound like a creaking door. Koreans, they don't say, uh, 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 right? Instead, they use the word, 아이고. Aigo! Re repeat that to me because you're going to hear this word so many times everywhere you go in Korea or if you're around a Korean person. They're going to say, Aigo! Aigo! Don't say, Aigo! Okay, don't make your mouth tight. Just let it loose like Novocaine is drooling through. Aigo! Aigo! And I make this sound a lot every time I have pain in my muscles after every workout in the gym. I say, Aigo! Uh, if you're taking off your jacket, you're gonna say, uh, uh, right? My friends are gonna say, I go, I go, I go, I go, I go. You notice that I said it multiple times, and that's more natural than just saying it once. It's saying, I go. <laughs> okay? So practice this with me, alright? You're in pain. You just you just finished a three hour workout at the gym, your muscles are aching, you have to take off your jacket. You're gonna say, I, I go. I go, 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 I go. Practice this at home. I go, I go. Let me give you another example of how to use this word. Okay, so uh, say if your friend he he got really drunk and uh, he drunk texted his ex girlfriend and he admitted this to you or confessed it to you. What are you going to say? You're going to say, what the fuck, <laughs> bro? What the fuck? Why? Okay, no, you're not going to say that. Because he's Korean, so you're gonna say, Aigo, Aigo, right? So if you hear something that's just painful to hear, you know, like just like bone chilling or just awkward or just, just really uncomfortable news, right? You're gonna say, Aigo, like, Aigo, like, why? Like, why? Bro, why? Why would you do that? Aigo, Aigo. Your best friend say, Hey, I'm getting married. I'm throwing away my. <laughs> Bachelorhood. <laughs> Instead of saying what the fuck, why? You're gonna say I go, I go, I go, I go. Okay, so again, any kind of situation where you know you hear some sort of bad news or news that's unsettling or just uncomfortable to hear, you're gonna say I go, I go, I go. Please practice this word because you're gonna hear this a lot, and I use this word actually every day. Uh, if, if you're around me, because I'm in pain 24-7 after, after my workouts, my killer workouts, so... I usually say this word a lot after the gym. Aigo, 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 okay? Aigo, aigo, okay, so you notice like moms, this is a funny thing, moms say this word a lot to their children, like aigo, aigo, right? You know, like they they find their they catch their kids smoking or having sex. Or <laughs> uh, your Korean mom will say this a lot. Aiko, 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 aiko. My daughter, aiko, aiko. My daughter does this and that. Aiko, oh, I can't stand it. Okay, so yeah, pay attention to this word. You'll hear it a lot in dramas. You'll hear it around Korean people. Aiko, okay, very simple. Aiko, say this to the your Korean friends or. Let them catch it and they'll be surprised. Wow, you are Korean. 
So that's it for this video. Uh, please subscribe and like and leave a comment and let me know what you want to learn next. Going back to the beginning of this video, like what have I been busy with? Okay, so this is what I've been busy with, folks. So as you can see, I'm wearing a very nice hat, very nice jacket, and ooh, a very nice necklace I can stab people with. <laughs> and you're probably wondering, Justin, where did you get such fine material? And I mean, you look very bling bling. Here's the secret, okay, so these past few months, I've been working on my own online store, okay? So, all of these items that you see me wearing can be found at my online store. And you, my friend, can buy this stuff at a reasonable price. The store is called Super Juicy Life, okay? So, if you go right now to superjuicylife.com, you can browse my online store and check out some things I have on for sale and these are all items that I personally wear and recommend so this is why I'm recommending these items to you if you're into fashion if you're looking if you're into looking dope like me and you wanna step o step away from the boring Zara or H&M or your generic stores at the mall then shop at my store my friend and I have international worldwide shipping so I can ship this stuff anywhere you are in the world visit that site right now and insert your credit card so i can make some more videos in the future <laughs> would be greatly appreciated and uh yeah i love you mm -hmm.